Welcome, everybody, to another episode of CBSI's Three Comic Monty. This week, we're doing psychedelic slash trippy type covers. Uh, this is a uh, Ben C., our local deadhead special, I think. So I look forward to seeing what he digs out. And the rest <laughs> of us will just be along for the ride. Um, <laughs> as always, we're brought to you by CBSI, comicbookinvest.com, your home for the most free articles daily with things from spec to investing tips and uh, weekly highlights of books coming out. So check it out. Now that new comics are back, you can see that on uh, the Wednesday one. So awesome. Um, we are also brought to you this week by Comic Barricade, the best way to support, stabilize, and protect your collection from the dreaded spine tick. So check them out at comicbarricade.com. All right, gentlemen. Who's, who's ready? I'm sorry, Mike. I'm going to make you start it out because I don't want Ben to start us down the rabbit hole here. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least I'm not anywhere near him. I'm not on either side of him. So it's it's you and Chris that are going to have to deal with that. <laughs> I went with uh, maybe an obvious choice or at least maybe an uh, obvious artist anyway. If not, the maybe the book's not as obvious. But I went with the Starenko. This is trippy as hell. I don't know what is happening in this cover. It's a dolly homage, obviously, melting clocks and crazy, like, torn paper and shit going on. Um, when I think of the, the Nick Fury Starenkos, I always think of the weirder ones, the more colorful ones. But then, but this is this one. This is the trippiest one of all of them. So I had to go with this one. It's, nice. like, secretly trippy. I'll give you that. It kind of, you got to sit on it a minute. Yeah, <laughs> Like yeah, you do. Yeah, this one has to. This one has to simmer. I went right. there once. <laughs> there. <laughs> All right, Peter, what do you got today? Uh, well, I don't have any of the Fury Storenko Shield books, though. That was my first thought when the this was brought up. But I did stumble across these Deathstroke books. These are more recent. I picked two because they're right next to each other. This is Forty <laughs> and forty-one. They just kind of invoke that same kind of vibe. So for my uh, lead off. Bunt, or at least attempt, I went for uh, these Deathstroke books. I kind of like uh, 41 a little bit better maybe than, than 40, but I figured it was worth just showing both of them. Very nice. Those are cool. I like them. Yeah. All right, Chris. Good luck. All right. So uh, I'm actually going with a graphic novel, but it's uh, a, a beautiful <laughs> David Mack cover. But it's trippy as hell. It's also Fight Club. So I mean, you just—I mean, if you haven't seen the movie, which I think all of us generationally, yeah. this is the movie we've seen multiple times. Uh, but this is the, what makes this book even cooler: is it's actually signed by the art, the author. Oh um, wow! But uh, the the trippiest oh, thing in the book cool. is look at the flies. They're just randomly throughout these pages, and it's <laughs> just like, what the hell is going on? Like you flip through the pages, and the, you get just. Random flies. He's throwing up in the toilet, and there's a random fly on the page that's like sticks <laughs> out from the page. Uh, it's, it's like an Andy Kaufman joke. Once you get your wave your hand at it to get the fly off of there. So, <laughs> yeah, it's just a, a great. And I, I've read the first like half of this thing. It's pretty freaking awesome. I mean, I have it because it's signed. I mean, I love the Palinchuk's stuff. It's just awesome. That movie. I mean, I think it defines sort of my age or all of our ages growing up because I was that was college and that was what. 10, 12 times I saw it in theaters, like at the Dollar Theater. <laughs> Hell yeah. So. I haven't checked out the, the third one yet, so I'll have to do that. I did read two, but I'll check out number three. So you've inspired me. Good. All right. <laughs> Everything All right. about that bear scares me. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that is the definition of a bad trip. Um, so yeah. I usually try to throw out a, uh, 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 a random, um, you know, honorable mention or whatever. So... This is not my pick. This is um, this is just to get it out there, man. Look at this Jesus. cover. It's, yeah. it's also the first uh, Peach Momoko comic work. 288 is the first work. Um, that's her first comic book published art. So, um, so I went here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what the hell? Exactly. Are these are those. <laughs> right? Like, that's a lot of stuff. <laughs> yeah, man, I'm not usually quiet, but I'm just going to let it soak in for a minute. <laughs> I definitely see aliens and, like, World War II planes. Yeah, and... city. Whoa. I, I don't know. Everything about it. Nightmares. 
<laughs> It'll give you nightmares. <laughs> I like that. No words, no description. Just look. Just, just look. look. <laughs> I'm going to give us something to calm down a little bit after that because I, I don't know if we can keep down this road. Um, I went with a uh, classic Nick Cardi. Um, I think it's the background. Oh, yeah. that just gets me because yeah. you don't even notice the characters. You just notice the, the blue-green kind of whirlpool you're going down into. Uh, I mean, I could kind of stare at this for quite some time and just be amazed there's kind of this whole run in the in the late 30s uh to early 40s numbers of, of the aquaman where cardi just kind of really got obsessed with these bright vivid kind of colors and, and how he could use them and this one just this one is just kind of that calming man i want to go there so. <laughs> nice but no, no tentacles and no uh, yellow swimsuit <laughs> yeah, no yellow pants. <laughs> no yellow pants. <laughs> all right Mike, round two, what do you got here? John, I went with something very similar to what you just showed, but uh, quite, quite a lot earlier. Uh, Ooh, this wow. does the same thing for me. I don't know what – is that a sun? Is that – I don't know. I haven't read it because the thing's too fragile to open. But uh, but I've always loved this cover. Um, Toshin actually chose this one for their Wonder Woman art cover, um, and I've always – and as soon as I saw that, um, I had to have this book. So I just, I love that. It, it, it just says sort of psychedelic trippy to me. I don't know what's going on, but I love it. Sort of that same kind of like, you just sort of get lost in, in it. Um, yeah, and I love how sort gorgeous. of simple it is too at the same time. Into the vortex. Just a great HD Peter. Yeah, right. Exactly. And then, and, and the, the car, that whole Cardi run, there's like three or four of those Aquamans that have that. And then this yeah. one has it too. I just love it. Just really cool. Beautiful. And that's pre-acid movement too. That's like fifties <laughs> when like the government was still testing and shit. Yeah, uh, yeah. when it was legal, Morello. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Peter. Tough, tough to follow a couple of those. What you got? All right. Well, you guys inspire me to kind of switch up my order now to kind of follow that lead of what you guys were doing. <laughs> First, I wanted to go with the Austin Powers kind of a throwback vibe. Then I was going to go with the acid trip cover, but I'm going to hold off on that and go more with that vortex and go with the. Spidey, thanks by Daniel Five. Very nice. thing. Kind of sucks you in. Yeah. So I decided to go with that one. I was going to do that one last since it's the older book, but uh, again, your last few picks inspire me to pull this out now. Let's keep going. Let's keep this cycle going. Improvise Love with it. the theme. I like it. We got a <laughs> sub theme within the theme. <laughs> yeah, plus it's the first Peter Parker's parents, I think, in this one. Yes, it is. Very nice. Ooh. All right. Oh, yeah. Did you, right. did you, oops, Chris, did you get a vortex for us? I did not, but I did get an acid trip. Like, this is when the, the acid really kicked in. Skull Comics, number oh, five. Oh, sweet Jesus. It's, uh, <laughs> wow, I'm, I'm not that's sure. cool. It, I'm trying to get the camera so you can see it all. It's just ridiculous, and I probably should pull back because this may be PG. Uh, it's, this is definitely not PG. Uh, it is... <laughs> Underground Fuck. Cartoon Workers, Skull Comics <laughs> number five. Uh, that, and then, of course, quick flash to the back and then back. Um, <laughs> get, <laughs> we, we've now these, entered bat country here. Yeah. <laughs> but, it's just ridiculous. Um, it's uh, one of those, I mean, all those indie books were ridiculous, but these aren't worth a whole lot. I mean, if you get a first print of number one, it is, but I mean, it's a five, ten dollar book. I found it in a 50 cent box. Um, but it's just, it's one of those, those 70s underground comics when you find them, it's just like pull them out and hold on to them because there are not that many of them. I mean, right. that are worth not torn to shreds or whatever. Oh, so, very, very cool. Spain Rodriguez is the artist on the cover. Speaking of bat country, here comes Ben for round two. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to shift too. So um, I actually, this is ridiculous. I just, uh, what's wrong? Look. Um, it'll be cool. Oh yeah! Oh. <laughs> Everything oh. right down to the title. I mean, I I argue with myself about which That's... call to use. I I I. I... I the crime the crime oh, has always been one of my favorites. <laughs> you know, you still have another pick. <laughs> I know, but LB Cole. Um, <laughs> like, there's just crime, so much going through that one and it almost like yeah. feels like a story it really I, it, it's everything about it is fantastic 
fantastic. She's got that tentacle slash wavy uh, thing going through it. It's almost like follow me. So short of world, of, if I owned World of Fear, um, that would have got displayed tonight. And um, <laughs> yeah, for those who don't know, it's the eyeball cover. The guy's missing his eyes, but then oh, the entire yeah. cover is just fucking eyeballs. Oh um, yeah, okay. it's terrifying. Like it, 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 it is my nightmare. <laughs> This one. <laughs> I'm going a little more independent with this one, and I don't know anything about this comic. I just found it in a box when I bought a collection, and it stuck with me. And the title alone gets you. Sin. Girl. <laughs> 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 wow. This is from uh, AC Comics, the, the home of Femforce, so it's in that vein. I mean, you've got that background with the red and the orange skyline, and then you have this floating face spewing a river of skeletons. Like, if you see the water coming out with close-up, it's got skeletons dropping in. Um, <laughs> it's freaking just amazing. The, it actually is a wraparound, which shows some more skeletons, more of the color, the, the lead character. This is a one-shot. Um, I mean, it's a $4 one-shot in 1990, so it was not cheap. It's all black and white art. Um, so, I, again, I know nothing about it, but since I found it, this has kind of been prominently kind of staying nearby for something cool to to, to put up. So, so I, I, I don't want to correct you on anything here, but that's not water. His teeth are clearly melting. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that from the I'll take that from the expert. From the expert. I don't the expert. Technical on people. But his teeth are melting. I will, I will give you that. Been there. No, no bueno. Wow. That's not a good place to be. <laughs> good luck, Mike. All right. Uh, I, oh my God. I don't know. Uh, I thought this cover was cool until I saw that one. Um, <laughs> In my constant hunt for the <laughs> in my constant hunt for the final Conan book, two seventy five, I always, of course, end in the bin at two seventy four. But if you've ever seen two seventy four, it is incredibly trippy, uh, especially psychedelic covers, cra colors, crazy colors everywhere. This 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 like quilt thing going on. Um, it stand. It's so different than everything else in the whole Conan run. I love this one, um, but uh, it's uh, the artist is Colin McNeil. Whom I I don't know that I know, um, but a really cool, very different, super stick out kind of cover. I love it. It's worth you nothing, might, but you might make that a thing, man. <laughs> There's going to be a lot of people uh, doing some maybe. things that maybe need it. <laughs> That's All right, true. Peter. <laughs> All right, so this was going to be my second pick, but now I'm going to wrap up with my uh, X Men related book. <laughs> I went with this. I actually did this one in uh, Dollar Bin Digging, I think, once. This is a Chris Sammy. I always like this Wolverine cover oh, yeah. with the uh, like the oh. brain trees growing out of his head oh. and the house on top. I just, I don't know. I just really dug this. <laughs> so I figured, you know what? That looks a little bit trippy to me. So Dude. I'm going to throw this one out. Those I'm last surprised two. unless Chris. I've never seen it. that cover. Nobody yeah. pulled the Dolly Wolverine. Oh, I, I didn't pull it. I have it. But I didn't. Oh. <clears throat> we all no, forgot that, about it. Yes. I did. All right, Chris. So I'm going with something super modern. Uh, it came out right before the quarantine hit. King of Nowhere, number one. Uh, this oh. is the Christian Ward cover. Uh, it's gorgeous. I don't, I don't know if anybody's had a chance to read this. Wow. Um, nice. It's just gorgeous. But like this dude appears in this land of nowhere. He becomes king of nowhere. But all the characters are these anthropomorphic animals walking around. Like he sits and has a beer next to a salmon. And there's a it feels like you're looking like you true the first true detective, you know, the weird uh antler thing that kept showing up. Like yeah. the characters have that feel. And wow. it's like, what the hell is Tyler Jenkins? If you know his art at all, Grass Kings and some of the stuff, it just sort of has that uh Jeff Lemire sort of feel to it and everything. So it's pretty trippy as a book as a whole, but the cover is just gorgeous. I, oh, I had to buy this co that cover. I, I would buy that as a print and hang it on the wall. Yeah. Okay, Ben, you're going to take us to a good end or a bad end here? Where are we going? <laughs> I don't know. Or don't you have book three? I know. That's, I had to do it so that the children could go to sleep after you. 
Oh, am I the closeout now? No, no, no. but I, I had to, I had to give a buffer because if we let you close, it might be trouble. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I, I don't. Just... <laughs> <laughs> what the melting priest? Um, Is that yeah, the devil? A skeleton and a what? Um, I don't know. Octa fucking squid. Like more importantly, so for the longest time, I was like, "Good God, they're putting, they're they're like burying some priest. That's all fucked up." Like. No, dude, it's a skeleton. Look, uh, the, 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 what the fuck cage. is happening? I don't know. What, what is happening? <laughs> he is definitely melting. So, and I don't think he's a skeleton. I feel like he's melting into that coffin. But, like, it's all reprints from earlier stuff. Huh. Ooh. Uh, you want to worth it? <laughs> you want to see that this the the, the 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 cover makes me uncomfortable. Like I don't understand. Like, why Boop. did someone draw a cover? Boop. Boop. Is, so for what it's worth, too, this is like 1953 UK pre-code horror. Like we're all drawing crazy shit, blah blah blah. And the UK is like, that's cool, but we dig up priests, <laughs> <laughs> and we don't know what is burying him. But they're definitely no, and terrifying. we don't have original content, so we blow Z's mind with this. <laughs> <laughs> What? <laughs> Throw a little ghost rider in. Why not? I love how John says boo, the guy who collects forums, which are essentially all reprints. And you know what I'm saying? I know, but, I know, the, but it's the, not that's such a the, great cover. You wanna you want something? The ghost rider story ends and it's like, all right, there better. was one more page left of like pre code horror. We just threw one page in. <laughs> Random page. Oh hey, do you guys like Digging up like cowboys. <laughs> Maybe you like cowboys too. <laughs> so, yeah, man. The only way to top melting teeth. <laughs> <laughs> That's nuts. This one, I, I'm not even sure this is as much trippy as I, I imagined. I would love to see this in a black light cover. We talked about it before. Uh, just there's so many colors on this cover, it shouldn't work, but it does. It's the cover that caused, you know, 100 homages, Batman 156. You've got that skyline, which apparently I really dig the red, yellow, orange. You've got the planet with the geysers and the purple flowers. And then you had, you know, Batman watching Robin die for the first time, I guess. And I, it just <laughs> all comes together. I mean, there's, there's a thousand colors on this freaking comic, I think. I don't even know they had that many colors when they printed comics back then. See, I don't. Isn't it gorgeous? What a nice. I've copy. never seen a good copy of that. Like all the copies I've seen have been so faded. I didn't know there was that many colors on that cover. No, oh, it, it's it's yeah, that's crazy. Good. I will stare at this one a long time when I get it out. <laughs> it's just breathtaking. Uh, Sheldon Maldoff, just classic work, inspired cover after cover after cover. So. Don't know if it's quite trippy, but I just I imagine I could stare at it for a long time if I were. So. <laughs> that is way better than closing with unburying priests. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. We won't give our audience <laughs> nightmares. Um, all right. So what are we doing uh, next week, guys? I don't think we we got to come up with a theme. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I'm not giving it to Ben. He's Ben scares me, man. Yeah, all right. I Chris, wish Chris you get to choose. Well, we Pick a color something. or something. Yeah, something simple. Yeah. Uh, let's, how about green? Green. I like green. green. Yeah, the background green. 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 Okay. Something without things melting would be good. Maybe, maybe the Dollar Green team was it the <laughs> DC first issue? <laughs> yes. All right. Thank you guys. Thanks as always to CBSI ComicBookInvest.com for all, all right. your speculation needs. We will see you all next week. Thanks.